All right, I'm going to go see Saves the Day and Senses Fail. Each one of them going to perform one of their classic albums in its entirety. They are on the New Jersey versus the World Tour. Special guest, a band called Narrowhead, who I think are a Dallas band. It's going to happen Saturday, November the 23rd. Sounds like the weekend before Thanksgiving. Around the corner here at the House of Blues, LiveNation.com. Tickets, info, everything else. Uh, Want to go see these guys? Call her 10. You will. You and a friend. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. The Alan Cox Show. The official show of those weirdos who ride shotgun with their bare feet on the dashboard. <laughs> you're, you're a weirdo, but let's do this. On 100.7. WMMS. I was talking about last week, maybe that Lollapalooza documentary, if you haven't seen it, is awesome. It's only three parts. Get through it pretty quickly. How long are the episodes? About an hour? Hour piece. Okay. Yeah, it's great. Sounds like good uh, viewing on Friday and Saturday. Yep. It's over there on Paramount Plus, and I don't know if one thing has to do with another, um, but Jane's Addiction has announced a reunion tour. Ooh. Uh, they're not coming here. You'll have to travel, but um, it sounds pretty cool. You know, they they try this every 15 years or so um, with the classic lineup. So Perry Farrell, Dave Navarro, uh, Eric Avery playing the bass, Stephen Perkins, one of the great underrated drummers in rock and roll, Stephen Perkins. He's in a great documentary about drummers called Count Me In. Um, But a lot of the, you know, er- Eric Avery and Perry Farrell in particular would always end up at each other's throats. Because that band is kind of very much the Perry Farrell show. But they're going to try it again. They're going out with Love and Rockets. Remember Love and Rockets? No. You don't remember them? Um, so Alive was one of the big hit songs. It was the guys who, when Peter Murphy uh, left Bauhaus, or rather the band broke up, and he went off and did the solo thing, the other three guys uh, started a band for a little bit called Tones on Tail, if anybody remembers them. And uh, they had like one or two hits. And then they started a band called Love and Rockets. It was named after the uh, the comic book. And um, hold on, because it's a pretty good song. It was in movies and stuff. And... But this is probably 1985, so a little too far back for you guys. But um, I don't know what if these guys are reuniting or if they've been out there doing stuff. But it's it's Daniel Ash and it's the other guys from Bauhaus. So Jane's Addiction and Love and Rockets are going out. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard. You this. never heard Love So Alive? Yeah. I've never. I mean. Really. I don't dislike this it. This is a very I, Gen yeah. X song. It's yeah. probably 1985, I guess. And it shows up in kind of your standard John Hughes type movies occasionally. But uh, they're opening the Jane's reunion tour. And, you know, for for the outsize influence that um, they would have on what would become goth rock, Bauhaus was really only around for a few years. People who like that genre really um, laser focus on Bauhaus, but they were they were only together for a few years before they all went on to do other things. So anyway, um, in conjunction with that Lollapalooza documentary, again, I don't know. I know Dave Navarro had long COVID for. The past couple of years, like Dave Navarro was laid the F up. So maybe I have to assume he's okay now. And they thought it looks like the stars are aligning, uh, you know, so they're going to take the classic lineup out, all the original members of Jane's Addiction, and they'll go out and they'll do 23 cities. So you will have to travel. I think the tickets for the entire tour are on sale. And there are a variety of packages. If you want to drop some coin to meet those guys, you can do that. But you will have to travel if you want to see them. You'll have to go to Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit, or Toronto. 
all those third week of September. So they'll start it August 9th. They'll wrap it up end of September. So they're only going out for maybe eight or nine weeks. But that's pretty cool. I like those guys. I saw Jane's Addiction with Foo Fighters 20 years ago. That was the one time I ever saw them. And it was pretty good. I don't recall if that was the original lineup or not. But again, every, you know, 2007, 2008... Uh, they tried to get the band back together, literally, and I don't think that lasted very long, but they're going to try it again. So you guys see, there? I, apparently, I was reading the thing, they were like, hey, cops are still trying to find out who was uh, doing Fast and Furious Playhouse Square Drift. Yeah. Did you, <laughs> did they, you they see the fire? Somebody and lit a ring of doing, fire yeah. under the chandelier, and then we're uh, Tokyo Drifting or doing <laughs> donuts around the... I'm from CLE Twitter uh, account posted this from a couple different angles. It says, we got to do better Cleveland. I'm like, how the hell are you going to do better than that? That's awesome. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. We got to do I mean, better. I got hurt, I would be like, yeah, do better. But like, it seemed like it had it all under control. That's pretty rad. See, the first frame at street level, there's a giant ring of fire, and then somebody shot it from one of the apartments above, and uh, there's no who's fire. who's standing in the fire? <laughs> That's a brave person. The coolest guy in the, the world. The coolest guy, yeah. He's just standing there in a ring of fire where a car is. And there's people at the red light just waiting for this thing to, you know, again. <laughs> you're always in somebody else's show now. You know, people just out there doing bits. But uh, Cleveland Police Department have no idea who that is. They probably took the plates off the car beforehand. You got a plan for something like that. Just follow the smell of. <laughs> you know, the gasoline. Well, I was gonna say punte. Oh. <laughs> the smell of punte. Because you know, all them ladies are so turned on. Oh, by it. well, I don't I know. Mean, aren't you? Some are. No, I'm, I'm turned on by watching this. That's I'm rad. So dry, so dry. This so could dry. have been Bill in his car. He's got a big old muscle car. He could have been doing donuts <laughs> no, no, <that's> un- <laughs> underneath. Mine does not do that. <laughs> underneath the uh, well, it's up to the driver whether or not the car no, does my, it. Mine's an all-wheel drive. Yeah. Uh, man or uh, automatic. Yeah. It's not not exactly drift well, material. Yeah. It's not. Milk yeah, I bet you that. could you could still manage some donuts in that car. They have not made any arrests. They're asking for the public's help in identifying the culprits. So if you want to be out there snitching, feel free to tell the popo who this is. But I would say, uh, don't do that. We're out here trying to have fun. Nobody got hurt. This isn't the ground floor of a bank exploding, right? Yes, okay, so there's a uh, there's a giant ring of open flame but it was more theatrical than dangerous clearly they extinguished it pretty quickly everyone's fine relax in a short press conference over zoom sergeant freddie diaz from cleveland police said that they need cleveland's help providing names for those involved in a string of defiant drifting events (laughs) of course those of us in the game we call those ddes two of which were recorded this weekend. Yeah, this happened about 2 in the morning on Sunday. I saw it on the I'm from Cleveland uh, Twitter feed uh, Monday morning. Blocking the intersection of East 14th and Euclid. I'll tell you what, that east side, it's popping off. So it's just like wild they, over there, so I got to throw hands on prospect. Just like they say, mm-hmm. east side's popping off. Literally out front. Of Justin Bibbs' window and not an officer in sight. Strange, somebody said. Yes, strange that the mayor was not filming outside his window at 2.30 two in, in the morning. So weird. Mm-hmm. What a hot take. It's not a man of the people, you know. Well, listen, um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm just in it for the lulls, man. I've decided that. I love it. That kind of stuff. Because nobody's getting hurt. People, they'll probably, uh, somebody will snitch them out. Somebody will rat them out. But think of all the people who didn't know that Cleveland had a chandelier. And now they see this because it went viral, obviously. And they go, hey, look at that. Now think of the people who come to Cleveland 
expecting that that's like a nightly thing, like the fountains at the Bellagio. Yeah, they're mm. waiting. Yeah, so people get supposed got, to start every fifteen hey, minutes. Hey, when's the uh, when's the Tokyo Drift fire show happening? So they're looking into it. Social media, they point out, is littered with videos of mostly teenagers oh. <laughs> uh, engaging in joyriding because of the Kia boys phenomena. Yeah, well, that wasn't a Kia. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. Nope. It would have gotten stolen mid-spin. Right. The uh, Cleveland police said they couldn't confirm whether the Playhouse Square drifters were, in fact, teenagers. I got to tell you, Playhouse Square Drifters sounds like an acapella group doing <laughs> 50s music at one of these theaters. Yeah, come like back the sound to the matinee. Of... Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Mr. Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> the Playhouse Square Drifters. <laughs> Pay these dudes. Sanction it. Go, you, cl- you yeah, know what you're doing. Some... Yeah, you know what you're doing. Nobody got hurt. That's great. <laughs> Something else vehicular that I like a lot is a dude who zoomed in to his traffic court hearing for his suspended driver's license while driving. Nice. <laughs> this guy, the judge is like, oh, wait, wait. he was like on a Zoom call. Yeah, on a Zoom okay. call, on his phone, in the car, driving. <laughs> and they go, wait, what? Hi. Like the judge is trying to get clarification here from the lawyer. And the guy just is like stone faced, like, wait, are you Mr. Harris? Hello? Are you driving? Actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. This is in Detroit. So so I'll <laughs> just give me one second. I'm parking right now. The judge is like, really? You stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. (laughs) All right. What are we doing? Right, right. Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. Okay. So maybe I don't. That's Judge Cedric Simpson. And if you know anything about Detroit Judge Cedric Simpson, he don't take no shrimp. Understand something? This is a driving while license suspended. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving, and he didn't have a license. Oh. <laughs> and they cut to this guy. He's like, oh. oh. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended, and he's just driving. That is correct, Your Honor. What an idiot! <laughs> He's hello? speechless. They they're like, hello. Um, I. One minute, Mr. Harris. The judge is like, oh, what the hell is going that. on here? So, defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is turning himself into the Washington County Jail by six p.m. Today. Oh, you got to turn yourself in. See, that's when you pretend. I guess it wouldn't do any good to pretend that you froze. But um, they already saw you driving. Yeah, they mm-hmm. saw you driving. But the guy was so speechless, it looked like he froze right. on his phone. All right, bond is revoked. Turn your, Once you get out of your doctor's office, turn yourself into the Washtenaw County uh, Sheriff's Department or whatever. Man, that's wild. Um, excuse me, sir. Are you driving? This is this is your hearing <laughs> for your... Almost... Su- <laughs> I'll excuse be the there in two seconds. Just Suspended relax. Suspended license. Oh, God. Uh. Have you ever... Been on, I don't do a ton of FaceTime, but have you ever been on a Zoom call or a FaceTime or something and you pretended you were frozen to get out of it? No. no I, I did that one time. It's the best. I wish more people were doing that. Oh, my internet. I don't know what happened. You just talk and you, your mouth open or you might be mid-gesture. And you just go. They go, hello? Yeah. Yeah. That works like a charm. Works every time. Don't give Mary ideas. This is how she's going to get out of doing the show. Every day. <laughs> hey, Mary froze. On this camera. Well, she's on a delay. She's fine. Lighter backpack. My backpack is 400 pounds today in Man, addition she's got to. All the quarters. In oh, God. To, did you get all your quarters for oh, bonus yeah. hold? Because like, that's Check tonight. Check out my Instagram story. Uh, did you get 101 happening. quarters? Oh, I had to get. Well, it's up to 106 now. Um, so I got $110 in quarters. Mm. 
It's so heavy. It's, it's so many quarters. How? Um, but yeah, that's I'm telling you, man. It's like ten pounds of quarters. But um, yep, I got them. They're in my backpack, ready to go. And you go right from the show. I'm gonna. I got to stop home to get my laundry. Yeah. And then yeah, I'll prob- probably be there by seven thirty. Do you have any spots tonight? No. No. So you go home, it's get your laundry. Night. It's laundry yeah. and bonus. Laundry hall. night. It's bonus hall night, mm-hmm. and then yeah. What so. time is bonus hall live? Well, I want it to be by eight. Um, because I mean, it's going to be cutting it close, but I want to have time to actually dry my clothes and do it at the same time. So I, I want to get to the laundromat by 7.30, which is, is going to be tough, but I'm going to try. Well, I got to watch tonight. Come, yes, watch. Yeah, bonus whole Probably live. Probably around, around 8 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock. I'll go right. live and we'll do bonus whole. Set myself $101 an alarm. worth. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, dude. I love it. But yeah, backpacks extra, extra heavy today. Because oh. Bill's got me on camera, idiot. Hmm. And then also $101 in bonus hole. Wait, it's heavier? Ca- oh, because of your laptop. Because right right my laptop. laptop. That's what we were saying. Have you ever frozen to get out of it? And I was like, I wish I would, wouldn't would have to bring the laptop every day. Yeah, but compared to everything else, your laptop can't, that's not responsible for the bulk of the weight in your backpack. I'm telling you, dude, I don't know why my backpack is so heavy. I was say, you got a stainless steel laptop? Like no. laptops are like air. It's like that's what it's I'm saying. Air, it's I like the size have, of a legal pad now. Laptops. I have my headphones, my notebook. Oh God, I'm trying, to, dude. These quarters are so friggin' heavy, dude. She can barely drag her her uh, backpack notebook, around. Purse, not my purse. My notebook, my wallet, my uh, uh, laptop like sleeve to protect it. Oh boy. And then I have like pills and lotion. The backpack and- doesn't protect the laptop. It does, but I'm nervous. Like, I don't want to... I keep the... La- I mean, that's what? One extra pound? Yeah. But if you are watching the live stream, I can show you all my quarters. They're on my Instagram story, too, at Mary Santora Comedy. But this is so freaking heavy. I can't even pick it up. Alan, you can check it out, too. It's Look like your... Um, it's... <laughs> ah! it's so stupid. Oh, you don't, pour, you don't pour them all. They're so oh. rolled. You don't pour them in, in... You came from the bank. You don't pour them... I went to the bank. Yeah, yeah. When you get home, will you put them in a work. giant Ziploc, or you'll keep just unroll them? I don't know them what the... I'm... Oh, crap. I almost swore. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I... Uh... Yeah, I stopped on my way to the bank because the bank's not going to be open after work. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have to get them before I go in. They're so heavy. But, yeah, this is all going into bonus all tonight. <laughs> We're going to win ourselves a watch. <laughs> Maybe a pair of earrings. Necklace, something. Yeah. I got yeah, we'll to tune in. Probably all right. 8, 8 p.m.-ish. Nice. All right, let me break here. I'm going to talk to Oscar nominee Vigo Mortensen. Excited to talk to him. He has a brand new film uh, called The Dead Don't Hurt. It is a Western. It's going to be out in theaters everywhere on Friday. And I love him in every movie he does. So chat with him after the break. I'll have more than six, but fewer than ten minutes with him. I'll have nothing more tickets for you later on. Want to go see those guys when they come through. Tickets for The Warning 